All right, we're gonna hold for 40, and we're gonna take a shot on him here as soon as he slows down. Stops. Uh, he's about 30 right there. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. It's been a little while since we've been out here, but we're gonna be checking out the new camo reverse draw crossbow. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. It's been a while since we've been out here, but I wanted to come out here because there's a new version of the Reverse Draw Crossbow. The Forest Camo Edition just came out. I've been wanting this color camouflage crossbow for a long time, so I'm really happy it came out. Let's go try it out on some bull moose. All right, so we just got eyes on our first bull moose. He's out here a little ways away over towards this lake over on the uh, northeast end. I'll show you where we're at. We're over here by the first lake on the, well, basically the east end of White Rhyme Ridge. This is actually the second bull that just called up here. So there might be another one around. Yeah, here's the tracks from the other bull that just called. I'm not sure where he went off to, but like I said, he shouldn't be too far around. Oh, look at what we just found. Look how cool that is. Another moose shed. Look at that. I think we just found the other moose shed. It might be identical to the one that we just found. We didn't pick it up yet, but we'll have to grab that in a second here. As soon as this bull decides to come in, we'll be able to get a shot, but I don't know. He's being pretty spookish. All right, well, there we have him out there at about 75 meters out. He doesn't want to come any closer, so he's being pretty stubborn. Let's see what the camo edition of the reverse draw crossbow can do at 70 meters out. Looked like a pretty good hit. All right, let's watch him and see what happens. There he is right there. And he's down. So I'm pretty sure that might have been a intestine liver shot, either that or a single lung. He could have ran that far with a single lung, definitely. So what we're going to do is we'll go over and go pick up that other shed. I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep hitting the call of the wild button on accident right now. But uh, soon I'll be able to figure it out, hopefully. All right, so let's mark this shed here. Then we're going to go over here and go pick up this first shed that we just found. And then we'll go pick up the bull moose. Then we'll pick up the other shed that we found. All right, well, as we went after the other shed, it looks like another bull moose is coming in right now. So we're gonna get ready on him and see if we can't take a shot. I don't know where he came from. Yeah, it looks about the same size as the other one. But for some reason, I can't find the shed. It should be right here somewhere, but I don't know. It's, it's blending in with all this brush and I just can't see it. All right, so he's about 30 meters right there. Actually, he's about 20, 25, so he's definitely in range. As soon as he steps out behind that tree, we're going to go for a shot on him. There we go. And he is down. I believe that might have been a perfect hard shot. I'm not sure. Might have been just a touch high, actually. I think we ended up catching double lung on that. But let's pick up this bull. And I'm really hoping that we can find the shed from the other moose that we found. Yep, we ended up getting a, a heart and right lung. Actually, we ended up getting a double lung heart shot, which is pretty good from that angle. I don't know how we ended up getting double lung and heart, but we did. And he scores 109.17. And we got our first reverse draw crossbow camo edition harvest achievement. And there's the first shed. We finally ended up finding it. You can see how it's really hard to see because it's pretty small. But luckily, we walked right past it and picked it up. Let's pick it up. It's not very big, but that's pretty cool. It scored 47.8. Now let's go over here and go pick up this other shed. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be close to the same score, probably 50 score or close to that. And then we're going to go over and go pick up the bull moose that we got from the other side over there. And we'll see if we can't find another one. 
Oh, apparently we have a Ka Moose that's decided to uh, give out a call. All right, we have our Ka Moose coming in. She decided to come in, and she's about 30 meters away, so we'll be ready to take a shot on her pretty soon. As soon as she steps out, yeah, she'll be about 30 right there if she stops. Which it looks like she's about to. Either that or she's going over that hill. Uh, she's going right behind that tree. She should stop right about there, though. Here we go. <sighs> Looked like a solid hit, but I'm surprised she actually took off. Oh, big bull! Big bull! That's a 200 plus. Where did he even come from? Where did he come from? I heard something running over there and I thought that that might have been the cow that took off. But now that I think about it, it wouldn't have made sense to be the cow because there's no way it would have ran any further than, well, right there. And there she is down right there. All right, let's pick her up. It should be double lung. Yeah, shoulder blade double lung at 21.2 meters. All right, here's the other shed. Let's take a look at this one. I'm gonna guess it's gonna score close to the same thing. Let's see what it's gonna score. It scores 51.4, so I would imagine it's close to the same exact uh, shed that we found from over there. It might be from the same moose even. All right, luckily we managed to get a spot on that bull moose. Well, we didn't actually get an estimate on him, but we got a location of which direction he was headed. If we went to looked within that probably three seconds of hearing the sound of him running there's no way we would have known that it was a huge bull i would have just assumed that it was either a smaller bull or a cow but luckily we caught a glimpse of him and he is big um i don't know i've gotten a couple oh, right there. there's a cow moose right on top of us and of course the crossbow is not loaded up because i forgot to reload it but cows aren't that smart, so maybe we'll get lucky enough to be able to take a shot on her. Yup, she's down right there. Alright, instead of putting a crossbow away, let's reload it back up. So we'll be ready. Also, we need to load up the tracers for this big bull because he is definitely tracer worthy. Alright, so we have tracers loaded up. And let's pick up this cow. Ended up making a neck, shoulder, spine, and liver shot. So, pretty solid shot on her. She wasn't going anywhere. Yep, 530 to 600 kgs. Pretty fresh, roaming this direction. Should be fleeing. Yep, fleeing. Okay, so now we're just going to take it easy. And we'll crouch a little ways until we get to an opening. And we'll try and call him in. Alright, well we're still on the bull's track. But we found a cow. The bull's probably right over here. But I'm pretty sure I see another shed from another moose right there. It looks like a pretty cool looking shed. One of those really wide, oh, there's the bull, there's the bull. Um, well, I'd like to get a spotting on this bull. Holy, that thing's huge. So when she stops, we'll be able to take a shot and then this big bull should be coming back in. I can still kind of see his rack sticking up right over there. So he's definitely not too far away. Come on, stop. Okay, that was for sure double lung. Let's take a look at her and see what happens. Yup, she's down right there. And our big bull should be coming. Wow, that thing's huge. Alright, well here's the shed. What a cool looking shed. It almost looks like some kind of a... I don't know, amigo deer shed or something? I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that a moose shed if I first saw it. That's for sure. Uh, actually, it looks more like an elk shed, to be honest. Let's pick it up. I know it is a moose, but it's really small. It scores 53, so it scores pretty much the same as the other ones. But this bull should be coming in here soon. We'll get ready on him. There is no way that's another shed right there. You gotta be kidding me. That's four sheds. That's a huge shed right there. That's a 170, 180 shed. Maybe bigger right there. I can't tell if there's two of them, but we got to get ready for this big bull. We can't. That's him. He just called. We can't be messing around too much. Four shed antlers within one game hour of hunting on White Rhyme Ridge. 
I've never seen that before. Oh, there he is. I can see him coming up over this hill. He's right there. What's the score? 145 to 185. So he's not 200 plus, but he's for sure 180 plus. Probably like a 180. Well, you know what? He might be a 190. I've seen high estimates before. And this looks like a 190 plus bull moose. And I think this shed that we found over here is close to matching him. He's about 50 meters out. Pretty awesome looking bull moose. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna hold for 40 and we're gonna take a shot on him here as soon as he slows down. If he stops. Uh, he's about 30 right there. Oh, we hit a little bit high. Definitely got double lung still, but a little bit higher than I would have liked. This reverse draw crossbow has a lot of penetration though, so he's probably gonna go down. Yep, he's down right there. Awesome. This is the shed hunt of all time. We just found another set of sheds, but these are from a Sitka buck. The fact that a buck just called right there and we just found more sheds. All right, so we'll swing over here, pick up this bull. Oh, there's the buck right there. Let's get a look on him. Ooh, that's a nice Sitka. That's for sure a 100 plus Sitka right there. And he is coming in. We'll let him come close and we'll probably get the tracers on him as well. But let's take a look at this nice bull moose first. We got him down here in a really cool position and the Sitka sheds are right behind him as well. So we'll take a look at this cool bull. Really cool bull. And I forgot, let's take a picture of him. Let's pick him up. We ended up getting double lung shot and shoulder blade at 22 meters and he scored 170.1. So he looked 200 plus, but when you don't really get a good look at him and they're far away running away, they look a lot bigger. Oh, right there, you can see a big deduction on his left side, his webbing right there. If that was full all the way out to this point right here, then it would for sure be a 180 or 190 bull moose. All right, I think that's looking pretty cool. Let's go with that. Pretty awesome picture of a 170 plus bull moose. And we're not gonna get him mounted, but we'll definitely accept it. And we have this big Sitka coming in, so let's get ready on him now. Let's crouch here. He should be coming in really soon. Oh, he's right there. I can see him coming in. I keep hitting the X button because on Call of the Wild, my X button is prone. But here, it's just the free look button. So when I hit it, nothing really happens. There's the Sitka uh, sheds right there. But we do have a nice Sitka coming in right now. So hopefully we'll be able to get a shot off on him. There he is. Yeah, that's a nice Sitka. I would say he doesn't have any deductions either. 60 to 110 on him. I would say he's going to be like a 95 or 100 score. And he's 23 yards out. So we'll get our tracers and we'll take a shot with the camo reverse draw crossbow. Ooh, he's actually a little bit too close. He is so close, we can't even take a shot from this angle. It'll pretty much glitch out and go right through that snowbank. We don't want that to happen. All right, this should work here. So if he slows down, we'll definitely be able to take a shot. That'll work. And he is down. Wow, this crossbow shoots high. I forgot about that. It shoots quite a bit higher than the one on Call of the Wild. But let's go over here and go pick up this buck. A really nice Sitka buck. I haven't gotten a nice Sitka buck in a while, so I'm pretty happy with this one. Like I said, I don't really see any deductions on him either. So he's probably going to be close to 100. Let's pick him up. Double lung shot on him. And he scores 99.1. So a really nice Sitka buck. Really happy with that. I think my biggest Sitka that I have... Um, in the trophy lodge is like 103 scoring or something like that. So this is a really good Sitka buck. And let's take a picture of him. All right, really cool picture. Let's definitely go with that. And we'll accept it. And then we got to go over and go pick up the other shed from the Sitka buck here. And then we have to go over and pick up that huge moose shed that we found from before. 
All right, so this is the fourth set of sheds that we found in this entire hunt. And we've only been here for one game hour and 30 minutes. One game hour and 30 minutes. Let's pick them up. A pair of Sitka deer antlers, and they scored 44. So just a couple of young, um, well, just a, a young Sitka buck. It's probably from one deer. I wouldn't say it's from a couple of different ones, but look at that shed from the moose, though. That thing's huge. See, this thing you're not going to lose. The other ones I had trouble finding, but you're not going to have trouble finding this big of a shed. At least I hope not. Okay, did that just happen? I don't know if there was two sheds on top of each other and one just fell. But there is a pair of huge moose sheds right there right now. And they both look identical to the 170 bull that we just got. So that's pretty awesome. Let's take a screenshot of that, in a matter of fact. Awesome picture and let's pick them up and see what it's gonna score. I bet it's gonna be like a 160 or 170 201.5 that was a huge moose shed and I think that's my biggest moose shed that I've ever found too So that was really cool. The fact that we found all four sets of sheds in an hour and a half of game time 70 66 All right, so he's about 66 We'll creep forward a little bit more and see if we can't get position. He should swing back this way. But we'll be ready for a 60 meter shot if he stops. Yeah, there he is. It's not a very good angle, but we could still get a single lung on that. Oh! Should have been double lung. We hit a little bit high, but... I would imagine we had plenty of penetration to be able to get double lung on him. Maybe not. All right, guys. So what happened after that is actually I forgot to hit record. I thought I was recording, but really I wasn't. And we ended up sneaking up on this bison. He was 20 meters away. I was about to take another shot, and then he ended up going down. So he literally dropped right before I took a shot. It was kind of funny. I've never really seen that before. But anyways, he ended up scoring 113.7, and he was only hit twice. But it was a long track job. I think it took him like 15 or 20 real-time minutes to go down. But anyways, I think that's going to be a pretty good way to end this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Uh -huh.